Well, the farmers' agitation continues. Uh, 32 unions, uh, they continue to sit on Dharna, on the periphery of uh, Delhi, even as uh, the uh, Modi government uh, clearly refusing to uh, go back on its uh, Farm, uh, farm laws and the, the deadlock continues and the Chief Minister uh, of Punjab, Mr. Captain Amrinder Singh, he has just convened a all-party meeting uh, which was held just a while back, which ended uh, uh, just a while back. It was a two and a half hour long meeting of all parties which was chaired by the Chief Minister uh, Amrinder Singh. I am joined by my senior colleague Rajmeet Singh for more on this. Rajmeet, first tell us what happened at the all-party meeting. You know, all party meeting, uh, it was uh, boycotted by the BJP and uh, the Aam Admi Party stage of workout. Right. But uh, I would like to stress the general concern in the uh, in the meeting. You know, all the political parties are worried about the agitation being uh, prolonged and, um, and and the fortification uh, as being reported in the media being done on the Tikri border, Singh border and the Ghazipur border. Right. So now the political parties are basically uh, debated how the political intervention can happen mm -hmm. in the farmers' agitation which has so far been a political platform. Right. So the discussion uh, they resolved, uh, uh, first of all they passed uh, some resolution. Mm. The most important resolution was they uh, they condemned uh, uh, the violence in our, our public day and said the, the factual people behind it, the laxity, that should be uh, done in a judicial probe. Right. Second is they again sought repeal of the uh, central form laws. Right. And uh, third they uh, agreed mm. there was a general demand from the Aadmi party and Akali Dal that uh, the chief minister should uh, mm. Um, lead a delegation to the Prime Minister and right. the Home Minister right. to stress upon the need because the prolonged agitation means a lot of trouble for Punjab, right. the uncertainty, the economic issues and other issues. Right. So basically that was the consensus and more importantly, Chief Minister announced that he is going to bring the, uh, the few months back they passed an amendments against right. the central bills right. which the Governor did not forward to the President. Right. Now it's a, certainly a political move but the, prime, uh, the Chief Minister announced that he would again table the bills in the assembly because there is a law uh, as quoted by the chief minister that if it's twice passed the Majority. it's twice passed by the uh, the assembly the governor has to forward the bill to the governor okay. uh, to the president mm -hmm. so then they can uh, meet the president on this issue also, uh, Rajmit, uh, apparently, uh, as you've been mentioning in reports, Aam Admi Party boycotting the meeting and walking yeah. out of the meeting at the end. What happened? Uh, basically, uh, uh, that uh, what, what the Aam Admi Party uh, leader Pagwant Man and uh, Harpal Chima, right. they claimed that you know uh, they had the, uh, the chief minister had called an all party meeting in June last year, mm -hmm. where he had uh, discussed that we would uh, take a delegation to the prime minister and the union home minister to discuss this issue last year, right. last June. So that did not happen. Mm -hmm. For, uh, in favor of his uh, argument, the chief minister told the all party leaders that you know he tried to meet the president. Mm -hmm. Even the delegation went. The prime minister, the president did not give time. The prime minister did not give time. So they uh, advised him to meet the home minister. He did meet the chief minister. Right. But the Aam Aadmi Party leaders insisted that he should give a deadline. That when is going uh, Amrinder is uh, the chief minister, Captain Amrinder is going to meet the uh, prime minister. Otherwise, we all parties of Punjab unitedly stage a dharna outside the uh, residence of the Prime Minister. That was the main reason. Uh, and second argument uh, the AAP is giving that they should deploy Punjab police uh, to guard the governor, right. which the uh, Congress has, uh, has summed as illogical because as per the law, mm. uh, they cannot stay more than 72 hours. Or Otherwise, the, the, the Punjab has already uh, passed a law to prevent the CBI from entering. Right. So how can they uh, intervene in that area? Right. But, but the, uh, the, the Congress leaders uh, uh, told, uh, sources in the Congress party told us that, you know, the, the, uh, during the recent meeting with Amit Shah, uh, mm. Union Home Minister, he has categorically told them that the laws are not going to be repealed. Mm. So the worry is increasing every day. And, um, and they're really uh, concerned about how to move forward. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, Rajmeet, the underlying fear amongst all parties, particularly the ruling uh, Congress is, the more this agitation prolongs, the more it will cause uh, political turbulence in the state. We are, mind you, we have elections uh, next year. Uh, we don't know how, what political form this agitation takes place. Now, as you rightly mentioned, they're seeking some kind of political intervention. So how does it impact the politics in Punjab, the political spectrum in Punjab? See, see uh, Punjab is a border state. It has gone through a lot of turmoil. There's a terrorism, there are other concerns, security concerns. You know, and uh, Punjabis, uh, as, uh, as, as how, how, they, how, how they don't take the aggression, how they are, you know, reacting to the farmers so the uh, the political parties first of all are worried about the survival mm -hmm. 
सेकेंडली देर हैज़ टू बी ए स्टेबिलिटी यूनिफॉर्मिटी कोहिजन यू नो बिफोर द इलेक्शन कैन बी हेल्ड बिकॉज इफ द स्टेट लॉ एंड ऑर्डर कंटिन्यूस टू डिटोरेटेड द कांग्रेस पार्टी फियर्स दैट द बीजेपी में इम्पोज प्रेजेंट रूल हेयर सो दैट विल फिनिश ऑफ देयर यू नो पोलिटिकल एम्बिशन फॉर द टाइमिंग सो दैट इज द लार्जर कंसर्न द अर्लियर द स्टेबिलिटी द अर्लियर द फार्मर्स एग्री और द फार्मर्स टेयर एंड्स बट सो फार द डेड लॉक इज देयर and um, um, they are all discussing the resolutions part today were all um, decisions which which discuss about the way forward but uh, the, there is no concrete um, structuring, structuring so far so in the, fact that's yeah. perhaps uh, captain has also made a statement that in since a border state yes. you know prolonging of this agitation could spell a uh, 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 disaster for the uh, state so uh, clearly worries for, for the chief minister do you think he is a uh, little worried about uh, this agitation uh, getting you know yeah. bigger and bigger by the day and extending in so far as the period is concerned yeah basically you know as i mentioned earlier it's this uh, got got a lot of turmoil the issue of unemployment then the you know, uh, the corona issue mm -hmm. so the economy of the state has to be put on back on rails already right. the agitation for few months in punjab had affected mm -hmm. economically affected Absolutely. it mm -hmm. so the stability instability at the delhi border is certainly going to affect punjab that is one word on the lip of on the mouth of the every uh, leader and uh, they don't have the answers for it and also about this uh, uh, resolution which they have moved that an all party delegation will meet the prime minister yes. or the president sorry uh, have they decided when they want to do that no that uh, okay. that the chief minister told the party leaders that he would try you know he is in touch with the home, uh, union home minister mr amit shah but he would try meet the president and the prime minister so basically to put up a united front mm -hmm. uh, because there were voices within congress right. and uh, in opposition that the chief minister should camp in delhi mm -hmm. because the entire political happening or the, the former state is happening in in delhi, delhi. Hmm. so he should camp there mobilize political will political consensus hmm. and prevail upon the uh, central government you know to um, uh, to find out the solution in the problem right thank you so much uh, rajmeet uh, so there you have uh, the all party meeting ending just a while back uh, rajdeep rajmeet mentioned uh, whatever resolution the all party uh, meeting had uh, was adopted and one of them being uh, that an all party delegation uh, will uh, go to delhi and meet the president to uh, you know put forward uh, the view point of the political parties on the farmers agitation as rajmeet mentioned the prolonging of this agitation clearly uh, you know uh, marking some kind of a worry on uh, the political landscape of the state and all of them hoping that some amicable resolution is uh, brought in though both sides seem to be adamant uh, the modi government not really willing uh, to repeal these laws the, the agitationists the, the leaders from these uh, 30 odd unions they are also insisting that nothing short uh, of uh, the repeal of this uh, of these laws so it remains to be seen how it pans out in the next uh, few months few days that's what uh, we'll keep a tab on you can also log on to our website tribuneindia.com for further updates and also you can uh, Uh, follow us on our other social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.